and then now so you've got these implant now they're healed they're ready to go um, then what then the next step is basically allowing these implants to to uh, 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 to make sure the gum can form into in around the, the implant naturally like that it does around the natural tooth so we place a special metal to lock it together with the implant and give it uh, give about a week or two for the tissue to heal and then once that has done so then we take the mold to make the crown. So when we have that mold, the technician will look at the gum and know how to end the porcelain or end the metal, whatever it takes to make it look natural and clean. You want the surface to be smooth, as, the smoothest, uh, as, as smooth as possible, basically. And the main reason is that around implant, as long as the surface is smooth, uh, the plaque can't stick to it. If the plaque can't stick to it, it doesn't damage the implant. Uh, and so, the, so the, the tissue will stay healthy. Remember, if the tissue is not healthy, the tissue is red or irritated, then you have a chance of gum diseases and you have a chance of bone loss. And it's, it's basically allowing the bacteria to harbor and to grow in that area. Uh, and, and with something foreign in your mouth, our body, unlike you know what it does with the natural teeth, it tries to hold on to the natural teeth for as long as possible. With a foreign object, like a dental implant, uh, if there's any type of infection, you know, literally within weeks, you can lose that whole implant prosthesis. Uh, so you've got to be careful. I always tell my patient that if you have any symptom or any redness or bleeding, uh, you've got to let me take a look at it because it's easier if I catch it early to clean it out and then you're all done versus uh, when the patient comes in with everything in their hand. Uh, then we have to kind of start from square one. So that's where, you know, the home care comes in where you know that there's no difference you have to brush floss uh, and one thing that I even add to it is you know, the usage of a water pick uh, some, a machine that shoots water in a jet stream where you can flush around the gum once every night before you go to bed as long as you do that it's just proper good oral hygiene you know uh, if you can have that then, then, then really uh, you shouldn't have any problem